<laughs> Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goof all diamond back again with day 581 of my ketogenic journey going from former BBW model. Yes, I was in a couple magazines, uh, because I talked to somebody yesterday about that. Anyway, um, to a keto cutie. So, I've chosen to try to get healthy and live a longer life because I was dying. For those of you who don't know me so far, I'm down 120 pounds, having some issues lately, and this is what we're talking about in the next couple days. So, um, uh, yesterday I made a decision to make some changes, and I'm going to tell you about those changes, what I did yesterday, and oh my god, what I ate yesterday. Check this out, and I'll be right back with my macros and today's weigh-in. Why you hit subscribe? Yay! Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you love me, please. Say bye. I love you. I love you too. Mm. He's got a dirty face. We gotta go fix that. Alright, you guys. So breakfast. It's four sausage patties, two pieces of American cheese. So Zachary wanted some more bone and chicken, right? Can we go outside? And of course I can have that. Can but I can have some bone uh some uh some uh black and chicken tenders. I'm not eating the ranch over there, but I've got water. And of course Zach mixed all his drinks together. We're not going outside, it's cold. Okay, guys, dinner time, beef and ranch, or roast beef and ranch, uh, no, I'm sorry, roast beef and pepper jack, I've got a terrible headache. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted a little something fatty tonight, I've already had some pink Himalayan salt, trying to get rid of a headache, puppy's being cute, so I've got a serving of uh, pepperonis, about half a serving of ranch, and super cuteness, <laughs> Anthony, look how he's tilted his head, how are you doing, hi baby doll. Hi. Oh, he's got my hand. Double cuteness over there. He's busy there. Double? He's the bigger one. It doesn't make him double. <laughs> Makes him double the size. What are you doing? Okay, guys, so um, yesterday I didn't feel like I ate very much, but clearly I did. I was crazy ravenous, apparently. But it, like I said, it did, just didn't seem like that. And there's been days where it seems like I ate a ton, and my calories would be very low, so... But yeah, yesterday, apparently, I clearly overkilled unless I missed something here <laughs> and over uh, done it a couple times. But anyway, um, calories yesterday, 2,239, carbs 10 grams, 179 grams of fat, 133 grams of protein, major overkill. Hi, chew. Hi, chew. <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> Achoo! 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 Look how he's laid out, though. Oh, he, he just passes out in Great Granny's arms, don't you? Oh, he's so pretty. I think he just loves being in my arms. He's very cuddlesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up to me. Hey guys, so we had a chance to do something pretty cool. Um, there's a uh, like a charity thing coming going on outside our Walmart. It's called Home for Heroes. Is that what it is? It's uh, yeah, Homes for Heroes. And they provide soldiers or uh, veterans with homes. So it, you can get three items for 10 bucks. So I got Zach uh, this little necklace here. And then I got my second son, Hunter, this. I also got him a Deadpool shirt and a wallet because his birthday is in a couple days. Well, and, I want to see what this is. Hold on. And I got me this necklace. It's a black corded cross. Let me see if it fits me. It's pretty awesome. Can I see Love the color, it, obviously. Can I see if it fits me? Yeah, you can see if it fits you. Y'all see my seat? Hey, I got to replace these seats one of these years. Me. Probably not going to happen, but it's a nice thought. Okay, you guys, so I just got my 30-minute workout in. I hope y'all can hear me. I, I forgot to undo my microphone uh, headset, but um, I'm tired. I'm hot. We also learned that he thinks it's hilarious for Grandma to scream a mental health by Quiet Riot. <laughs> but it was the only thing to make him happy, so he got to watch me work out, and he thinks it's funny. I don't blame him. It probably was hilarious. This stuff jiggles a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> Okay, now, guys, so ketones O3, 
uh, blood sugar 89 early morning I've uh, been awake about 45 minutes um, better than yesterday not great though okay you guys you seen what I ate you seen what I done and this morning when I stepped on the scale I about had a heart attack but I'm gonna show that to you real fast then I'll tell you why it's okay okay good morning y'all I have had seven hours of sleep and I worked out yesterday, so this could affect something too. Let's see. Oh, not as good as I was hoping for, but that's what I'll take it. 199.6. Yeah, so you saw that, right? Now, at first, I about spazzed out both over my weigh in and over the amount of calories I ate yesterday, but. Um, so anyway, I about freaked out and then my own words come back to me. Things I'd say to people if I was watching their videos and I was commenting in their comment section, every time you work out, you tear down muscle. And as that muscle repairs itself and it's a standard process is how the body works, it retains water. Now, of course, eventually as you work out, like, you know, fat this size might weigh five pounds, but that might be 10 pounds of muscle. Now that's not what happened to me or one night one course of, you know, one workout, but it's water weight that I'm going to hold some extra to. I'm already holding 6.6 .6 pounds, so there's no telling what I might have went down had I not worked out, but I want to add working out to this next month, and uh, so it'll be a month and one day, technically. What the hell? <laughs> I've never seen that kid move that fast. I think Tommy was trying to steal Zach's you hoo um, Zach says he needs help. Clearly he does. Uh, <laughs> also, calories yesterday. I worked out. No wonder I was hungrier. Plus, okay, so it's, it's two days after a, um, a cheat. You're a little hungrier for the few days after that. You're going to eat more or you're going to want to eat more. And then working out on top of that, you're burning more calories. You're going to want to eat more. So it, at first it really freaked me out. I was like, what the hell did I do? Which I do on occasion. I would start over and try to make it quiet in here, but I've got to go get the car fixed and I've got some uh, errands I have to run. So this video is coming up just a little bit early today. I worked out yesterday. I was very, very proud of myself. It was a good workout, um, except for my grandson. The littlest one woke up as I was working out and I had to entertain him by literally screaming out loud to mental health, which I sound great with my earphones in. Heaven knows what I sound like when I took him out. Um, poor baby was probably terrified, but he was smiling and giggling. So. It could have been the arm flap. Could have been the arm flap. Metal Health. It's a song by a band called Quiet Right. It's a really good song. I'll show it to you later. You'll like it. He will. He loves metal. Um, he, he calls it the cool music when we get in the truck. He wants to listen to the cool music. Um, so, playlist. I'm, let's see if I can get to it real fast. I have no idea what my own playlist was. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Alright, so folks, real fast, I'm going to read through this playlist. Some of them might be very corny for y'all. Some of y'all might be way too young to know these songs. I love them. They're songs I grew up on, most of them. And they have a great beat. They, they keep me motivated, keep me moving. I'm enjoying it. I can sing along to all of them and kind of dance around to it if I need to, which is pretty much what I ended up doing yesterday. I started out with body weight exercises, got a lot of arms and legs done before Grandbaby needed to be entertained and it turned just into silly dancing for about 15, 20 more minutes. But I was tired, I was sweating, and it felt good. So, you know. Oh, and it was so much more easy. When I weighed 311 pounds and I was working out every single day, doing 50 of any specific exercise at all was difficult. It, my arms would be feel, they'd feel atrophy, really tired, really fatigued, rather. And um, last night I was doing hundreds of them. It didn't bother me a bit. Uh, I wasn't tired. I didn't feel like it was going to fall on my head. The dancing, that, that was, it went from body weight to cardio more or less, but the dancing made me tired. It made me sweaty and everything, but the, the body motions, no problem. Easy peasy. Uh, so I think I can do that for another 30 days. <laughs> Let me read you my, my workout playlist. Let me know what you think about these songs. Are any of these songs your favorite? Shh. Are any of these songs your favorite? Do you enjoy any of these songs or do you absolutely hate any of these songs? 
Let me know. I like Hold on, let me read this. Let me I know what songs you like. Okay, so God Smack, Crying Like a Bitch. Now this is a newer song, it's not like the older ones. A C D C Thunderstruck. Living Color, Cult of Personality. Warrant, Cherry Pie. Uh, Quiet Riot, Bang Your Head, Mental Health. Metal health. I always say mental health, but it's metal health. I know this. I've always known this. Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me, my boys. Uh, let's see. Survivor, Eye of a Tiger. That's a great song. It just is to work out to, especially. Uh, Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood. Footloose, Kenny Loggins. Gotta have Footloose. It's not a dance video without it. <laughs> Jesse J, Burning Up. Jesse J, uh, Bang Bang. These two songs, I, I really like the beat to. I, they're kind of newer, though, in the last, I think, five or six years. Uptown Funk, Bruno Mars. Great song to dance to. Sawyer Brown, Betty's Being Bad. I love that song. Um, Jody Messina's version of Sharp Dressed Man. I don't know why, but I like that one best. I do love, of course, ZZ Top's version. Obviously, it's theirs, and it's great. But this one's by Jody Messina, and I love it. And again, I'll post this uh, link, the... the my playlist that I made for working out in the comment section so y'all can see it and you can have access to it and use it if you want to. Um, and then I've got ACDC, uh, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap, and Highway to Hell. So that's the end so far that I've got. And I don't make it through all of these songs. I think that's like an hour of songs almost probably. But, um, you know, you can rotate through or just enjoy it however you want to. So guys, I'm going to go pay some bills, get out of here and do some stuff I need to do. Did I say everything? I showed you my way in. I showed you what I ate yesterday. All in all, it was a good keto day. My ketones, I showed you those two and my blood sugar. Yeah, I showed you I got a meter two for my blood sugar um, yesterday. So I'm not in a good state of ketosis yet. Uh, it might take a day or so. You will start getting ketones like the next day for some of us, especially if you've been uh, doing keto for a long time. That does not mean you're in a good state of ketosis for a couple days why it's not a good idea to have a cheat meal once a week or really even once a month because it takes you a little while to get back into the good fat burning mode but some people do so if you have any questions ketodiamond.com or diamondbbw at gmail.com somebody's coming in the house um oh that's Corey and Aaron uh so my all my links my contacts everything is below hit me up if you need me throw a comment down thumbs up subscribe ring my bell much love See you later.